Sure. All right, yeah. we're starting. Welcome back to Into the Unknown podcast. You may, uh, you may see an unfamiliar face here. Two unfamiliar faces. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, we have Lane Camerata and we have Jesse Delaberti. That's me. Both from the Unknown Project Parkour team. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Lane, go ahead. Um, well, you guys all know me. So I don't need to do much introducing. <laughs> uh, my name is Lane Camerata. I've been training parkour for about five years now, going on six. And yeah, pretty much it. It's pretty much my life. He's a man of many words. Many words. <laughs> what about you, Jesse? I can't top that either. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you give your full name? Lane Camerata, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I just want to make sure. Yeah, so my name is Jesse Delaberti, as Jake said. And uh, I've been training for... I hate saying nine years because it was like a four year period where I just didn't train like all of high school and then I got back into it when I found these goons in around freshman year of college. That's pretty much it. Yeah, we talked about it uh, last episode. Oh, yeah? You were the one that got me into parkour. That's true. That's true. Which is crazy. And I also learned that Chris and Joe knew each other from grammar school. Oh, prior to parkour. Yeah. Yeah. Which I thought that was crazy. But welcome, boys, to the podcast. (laughs) Hello, Chris. (laughs) You're here as well. Welcome back to my humble abode. First off. Okay, second off. Jake's house. We, ha- we haven't put on the headphones yet for Lane to listen to the bottle open, which I'll do for our viewers now. Go ahead. Oh, sweet. Go ahead, open I've the been looking forward to this. So for those also. who are listening, there's a bottle of uh, Irish whiskey sitting on the table. Um, you two people can see that, but Chris really likes the noise that it makes when you pop the cork. So let's listen. So not only will you enjoy the noise, but you can enjoy the visuals of it as well. Hence, I and ear fetishes. That sounded. I I, I like, heard it from here. It sounded. It doesn't nice. get better than it's that. Pretty quality, it doesn't. honestly. Out of all the ones. Shout out to Arizona. Arizona. We're shouting you guys it's out for there. Your Harry. Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. We'll write uh we'll write Arizona on the uh the chalkboard over the there. Map right there. Yeah. Circle. Arizona. 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 Chalk- Where's Arizona on the map? Arizona on the map. There. This is a map okay. Of Arizona. Yeah. Los Santos Airport. Los Santos Airport. <laughs> also we have a lot of stuff that like <laughs> if you're just listening to this you would not understand any of this. Oh, what map? What are we pointing to? What's <laughs> That's on the true. table? Jake is also six time <laughs> WWE champion. Yeah. This six is belts so on the wall. Six here. belts on the wall. Not plastic. No, they real, are plastic. real. Real. Um, real gold and leather, baby. Gold, leather, and. Um, yeah, shout out to Arizona, though. Shout <laughs> out to Arizona, <laughs> baby. So, um, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, we are. This is Into the Unknown, because, like I said before, we don't know what we're going to get ourselves into, and uh, neither do you. I think I reversed that this time. But we got some topics to talk about today. Uh, one of those topics, parkour culture. Parkour culture. If you don't know what parkour is, um, you know, watch The Office, right? I mean, that seems to be the best way to describe it to people at this point, isn't it? <laughs> That's sarcasm, by the way. Yeah, 100%. I've been that a million times. Or if you search like a goat video as well, is that still going around? Oh, goat goat parkour? parkour? Of course it is. I've seen like one dog. The dog ones are kind of weird because they'll they'll actually wall run like legitimately, like running up the wall with on all fours. I was gonna say yeah, sometimes go parkour. I like the dog Crazy. ones. If you ever seen me at like two o'clock in the morning, I could do the same thing, on all fours. For real, yeah, dude, I could I run like on all fours. This. Don't joke. I will race everyone here on all fours. I <laughs> no, will I, smoke I, you. I, I so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get into that. Let, let's get into that. <laughs> hold on. Uh, Fucking Lane over here <laughs> no, 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 no. wanted to. There. Oh, you I want to start that. You can't start there. You can't no, okay. start. So there was a there was an instance in time that happened a little while ago where Jake and and his and, and his lover, his lady, his lady, <laughs> we're we're talking about uh, who would be the fastest out of all of us. And Jake had called me just to come watch because my ankle is doing some weird shit right now. And then the only way that we would be able to get Joe. In on it, he went to Joe's, and then Lane Jake called Lane and said, "Oh yeah, hey, come out and race us." And Lane was like, "Yeah, only if you come to my place, I'll do it. Then why not?" Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind over there? Are you out of your, We're trying little, to have a conversation, Joe. A throw. <laughs> if nobody knows, Joe is sitting off to the side. Joe, say hi to the the gang. Like a child. I don't, I don't know. There you go. I don't know if you can. Joe, hear him. can you look that up for me? You look that up for me right there. But go ahead, Chris. Keep keep going yeah. with your story. Yeah. So I'm going over, as I should, because I, I like to watch people run. And, yeah, Lane didn't race. Lane 
did not Blaine race. Didn't race. I would like to say no races were held that night. There but was you no, specifically no races said, held. If I go to your house, then you have no choice. I went in your house, but invaded but, your home. Sadly, I had a choice. Do you see where the problem was? I hate you. Fair. But, uh, yes. yeah, let's, let's get on to a topic here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, not even in my honor. Like, I can't run. I'm yeah. sorry. Do you want to race? Do you want to race right now? I said if it's on two arms and a leg. Like just, That makes sense. Like, like a, what is that, three? What? Two like, arms on a leg? Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. can't use my right leg. Yeah, so that's like all, yeah. Why don't like you guys just do like um, a three-legged race? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah we'll just tie you up to somebody. Or to works. a tree. Can I tie Lane to a tree? Yeah. Oh, no, you still need your... Yeah, no, no, no. I'll still be too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing all fours, all boys. Let's go into a topic here. We do topics on this podcast. Really? It's only the second episode, but we do topics. Did it freeze? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's still running in the background. That's all we. Oh yeah, hope it's for. still going. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, Welcome. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> if if it cut out, we're back. If not, you're still here. You want a clap? Um. Nice. There you go. Got another clap going. Nice. Uh. Let's see. I guess I'll ask each of us individually. Okay. Uh, who on social media at the moment, or even real life, doesn't have to be social media, uh, who or which athlete have you been watching the most? And how, if you have been watching somebody, how have they influenced either the movement that you've been doing recently or your outlook on the way you train? Let's start with Lane. All right, so... Mine is going to be Tim Champion as of right now, just because of, like, I don't know. I see him doing a lot of big swings and, like, uncomfortable movements for himself that he's trying to bear himself in. So, like, I try to do the same in my training, try to improve myself through different type of movements that I don't usually train, and I am also trying to get better at swings, stuff like that. So, Did you watch yeah. um, him and Daryl's uh, Swing Theory? I did, I did. I'm going to be honest, though. I... It took a weird direction, like halfway through when they started doing like the J. Cole music with but it, like the bounce backs. Yeah, it was weird. Like it went, the video seemed as if it was going to go like really hard for the entire duration, but then it turned into like somewhat of a just training video. Even God's fall. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. No, but it, some of the, some of the things in there were <laughs> dirty as hell. I mean, oh, I've yeah, never, I've never been, I think it's what, is that one of the apex? What is happening over there? I laughed right into it. But like it was a whole other I Sorry, see that. Yeah, I, well, yeah, if you have anybody that likes ASMR stuff, then hopefully your shirt rubbing on there just, you know, got them enough to either subscribe to our YouTube channel or listen to this podcast. Hopefully on you're, Spotify you're, and you're iTunes. You're wet, you're wet. Throughout the course of this, it's going from hopefully on Spotify and iTunes to at some point will be definitely on uh, Spotify and iTunes. Oh, sick. Um, but yeah, Tim Champion, Daryl Stingley. Yeah, I was gonna say I liked it. Just I thought the second half should have been a little longer. Yeah, I, I thought it should have gone into it. I wish, I wish the the first half of it. I wish it just kept going in that direction, where it was just the team lines over and over. Mm-hmm. But some of those lines were. Oh yeah, it was really nutty. Cool. And it also <laughs> said that it was a volume one, so hopefully it was gonna be a volume hopefully. two. Yeah. Hashtag Storm Volume One never came out with a volume two. <laughs> oh oh shit, that's just true. That's not a thing. That's I thought true. the Concrete Circus was. Uh, was it volume two? I could have sworn it was. No, maybe. maybe I'm wrong, and I'm just dumb. What about you, Chris? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. Because that was, that was the first part. But how has watching Tim Champion, has it influenced any of your training or the way you train or th- certain things that you do? Yeah, like I said, it, like I'm trying to progress on like movements that I don't usually do and stuff like that. And I've been trying to get more into like swings. Uh, I work at Verde Quest Gym out in Boundbrook, New Jersey. And there's just like a lot of weird dynamic kind of swings sometimes like really big sometimes really techy so it's cool to like mess around with the movement which is you know awesome as of right now and hopefully i get better and do bigger swings there you go so. that's a goal that's what a goal. about you chris who have you been have you been watching anybody or uh, keeping tabs on people yeah well i i, I think Dan, i think daniel arroyo is still out there just like fucking destroying concrete yeah dude he just um for, real? for such a he just yeah. yeah he just competed that. in the uh that like usa parkour cup Really? He did speed. My man is still on it. Yeah. Like, no, sure. unbe- unbelievable. Then, like, he was on his shit. Yeah, that was, my, that was my shit all throughout high school, to be honest. And then it was like, I didn't, you know, he kind of like, I feel like, you know, fell off a little bit. And then, uh, 
to be honest. Now I feel like now I feel like it's Daryl too. I feel like Daryl is doing a lot of shit. Yeah. I feel like putting like runs together and stuff like that has really uh, come up become a big part of my mm-hmm. training and then like watching that also. Like I like lines now. Power power so, runs or like just runs. strong jumps and like a big line. Running mm-hmm. on all fours even at points. Yeah, dude. It's dude, if you want to race me, just say it. Yeah, well, Lane, race Lane, Lane, Lane won't race you. That's the Dude, idea. Get me on this field outside right now on the turf. I'll run all for well, you. All race right now, right, right now. I will, <laughs> no, we can't. We're doing a podcast. I will after gallop, this podcast, I will, I will gallop gallop on Yeah, you. I'm so down. Race yes. after... I'm down. Yes. Shake my hand. Shake oh Wait, boy. For those who couldn't <laughs> see, uh, Lane just shook hands on yes. a race. So everybody in this room, minus Chris, because of his ankle, is going to race. I really want to run all fours, but I guess you got me, guys. What about uh? What about you, Jesse? Any athletes you've been watching recently? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you, I remember you guys uh said in the group chat a while back. Remember that kid I'm Seat? Kind of looks like a mixture of me and Joe. Me I, and Joe's love child. No. Oh, yeah, do you know? Joe it? remembers it. He has like the same type of movement base like Schiffer White does. Okay. Like very powerful, like uh, but also very kind of like techie ish, very fluent, very big on strides as well, as well as Harrison Fernandez. I've been really into that lately. That man's legs are massive. Big and man. I want to stride that that much. Yeah. Mm. Big man, <laughs> big legs. Huge legs. Calves. Calves. Yeah. I added calf. I literally told Andres. Andres is like, I'm going to just put it in quotes. Like he's like our he's like our team lifting coach at this point. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Andres our, our lifting coach when he asked us like our yes. goals, I literally told him I want strides like Harrison Fernandez. <laughs> and he gave me nothing but Bulgarian split squats, a baby. There so I've been implementing a lot of strides into my training because of that. And a lot more, um, yeah, I don't know, a lot more putting things together, a lot more foot uh, foot placement things as well, technical I movements. Lifting things up and putting them down is something. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my yes. best to, in the description of these uh, podcasts, anything that we talk about, any athletes we talk about, putting yeah. like all their links down below. Um, it's something I, I really want to try to do is get some names that people may not know out there. Yeah. I was I actually going to mention yeah. another person I've been locally that I've been watching a lot and has been inspiring me to train is like Elias. Elias, Elias is Elf? always training. Elias like his training. consistency <laughs> is insane. Like constantly. Like I feel like every day this kid's doing something towards parkour and that's fucking incredible. Yeah. Shout out Elias. Motivating. Shout out the Riot guys. That was a say. Shout out Riot parkour. Like, Let's see. Who? I had to look up this guy's name because I only knew his handle. Uh, Max Antle. He is the one at the last... Is it, has he been, been at the birthday yeah. quiz? I don't think so. But he was the one at the last NAPC that did the double side flip. Oh, that, yes. I've just been kind of like just browsing through his stuff. And the one thing that I, I truly like is that in his lines, he will put very technical and difficult flips and keep the line going. It's not like he'll just end with like a triple flyaway, which is yeah. still nuts to, that people are just throwing those into things now. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't just like end the line with that. He'll keep going, and it's like, I, okay, I wasn't expecting that. But he yeah. does everything super clean um, and makes it look super effortless. Like, at, at so. NAPC in Vancouver, my man threw a total of three double side flips. That's not counting the ones he didn't practice because he was practicing them constantly. It's comfortable, right? And he just did them in the course of maybe six minutes, three double side flip pre's. Which was, it was crazy to watch, but it's definitely made me um, think about incorporating more technical things in the middle of lines rather than like ending a line or starting a line with something big. Yeah. Uh, mm. Because it like, I just like the idea of like, oh, we're doing this. And it's like, wait a second, that was huge because it keeps people interested if they're watching. Mm-hmm. And it feels really cool. Like you do something huge in the middle of a line, you keep going. I keep pushing it after yeah. that. I think it's dope. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But that was pretty cool. Also, I would like to shout out uh, Josh Vault. I think that's his name. The guy from Portland, Oregon, or I'm pretty sure. Oh, he trains with Paul, uh, man. he trains with uh, endurance PK Milo a lot. Let's uh, see. Julius Porter. Uh, no, no. Josh no. Miller. Josh Miller. Yeah. That his name. Yeah, his yeah, Instagram yeah. handle. Josh's fault. Yeah, oh, Josh's yeah. fault. Yeah, okay, Josh's yeah, fault. That's that's what guy, yeah. For. Well, yeah, he he's crazy with the descents and all the heights challenges he's been doing lately. Yeah, dude. So, he's just another inspiration. Just trying to push the limit. And push his own, like, you know, progression and the way he moves and whatnot. So, it's Forge, just cool to see. Forge Parkour as well. That gym looks insane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know pull if it's... Pull it up. Is it in? Yeah, I'll pull it pull up. Pull it up. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> How far are we from Oregon? How far is, like, New York from Oregon? I don't know. Can we Chris? look at the map? I need you... Oh, look at Can the map. Can we pull that up? Yeah, I think uh, it's, like, from here to, like, there. Yep, that's Arizona. Yeah, it's no? just pretty... Oh, fuck. Okay, Arizona's there. Arizona. <laughs> 
That's for those for those who That's don't know, we're pointing to a um, GTA Five uh, no. map. <laughs> we're not. It's the map of the United States. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's yeah. the map of the United States. States. But shout out, shout out Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. Never forget about Arizona. That's the theme. Where's Where's the chalk, dude? I have to write it on the. Uh, where we haven't found chalk. What kind of set do I work on? I don't have chalk. Great. What is so, uh, yeah, so this is Forge Parkour. Oh, oh, wow. That is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, have you seen Bob Reese's new gym? Yeah, dude. That Motive. gym's looking really nice. That gym's looking really nice. It's looking nice. really nice, Bob Reese's gym, because it, like, it goes up levels. What is, oh, what's the name of it? Motive. Motive? I think it's Motive. 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 Something's telling me it's Motive Movement, right? Yeah, I think it is, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, Bob Yeah, Greenville, Greenville, South Carolina. There it is. Sick. Nice. Motive School of Movement. But yeah, Bob Reese uh, opening his own gym. Yeah. Really? And not going to lie, like, with the way that I've... I mean, I always thought of Bob Reese as uh, either a tricker first, mm -hmm. even though that may not be true. I don't even think he is a tricker, but very flip-oriented. Yeah. But the gym he's making looks like it's a good mix of all things. Yeah. Well, I feel like the thing with tricking and, like, free running. The beauty of it, honestly, is you could train that literally anywhere. Like, true, yeah. That's very like, true. Literally anywhere. So yeah. if you're going to make like a parkour gym, might as well make it parkour-based mostly. I haven't seen it, to be honest. I feel yeah, I'm going to try to it's, find it's it. It's really, really nice. I'm also hoping every single time I bash my hand on the uh, the desk that the mic's not picking it up. I, I think <laughs> it is. I've done it <laughs> so many times. God. Let's see if I oh, just type While it. we're doing this, I also want to say Nate Winston. Also, a huge, <laughs> a huge inspiration oh, yeah. right now. He's literally crazy with the stuff he's been doing. Although he's not posting that much because he just joined Tempest. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, my man, it's my okay. man's probably doing a bunch of background yeah, stuff. Probably honestly, probably not. Yeah, fair. Hmm. Definitely fair. Definitely. Making the shoe money. Oh, Got a login Instagram no, on cool. here. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is my disgusting. Password. How you guys doing, by the way, in Arizona? <laughs> Can't just have the silent chick clacking at keyboards. We're gonna yeah, take okay. calls now. Oh, of course. <laughs> start start, start handing those lines. Right there. Oh, oh wow, amazing. He heard. So Instagram see. heard us. They threw him right on the front page. Honestly, I believe that. Illuminati. It's fucking creepy. There's a dog in the back. Yeah. So this is. Oh, this is beautiful, by the way. I still, to this day, do not understand swings. Oof, that you was will. gorgeous. You won't understand. You will. We'll get there. You will. Do you bleed? <laughs> Do you bleed? You will. But yeah, the gym. The gym definitely looks interesting because I know from the plans that he put on. Which I don't know if he posted them. It still hasn't opened up yet. No, I know he put like I forget where he put it. I remember seeing like a blueprint of what the gym was supposed to look yeah. like. And it showed, like, different rooms in the gym that were specific mm. for certain things, like a tumbling floor in one room, oh, the parkour setup, sick. the foam pit. And, like, seeing that, like, it looks like there's, like, a guardrail that goes around, like, a top layer. Yeah. So it'd be cool if, like, he's introducing other aspects of the gym yeah. that you can use uh, on some of the obstacles. When That's is he cool. opening? When is he opening the gym? Uh, Has he said anything? I feel like there's... I like the logo a lot, actually. It looks very, like, clean. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that scene from American Psycho where they're like oh, about the, the business, business cards. cards. Dude, it's so good. Did you see the edit of that? Someone edited uh, there was like Pokemon cards into it. <laughs> no. He's like, my God. <laughs> it's like a Jigglypuff or some shit. Oh, March 21st? Yeah, March 21st and 22nd. You guys trying to make it out? This is in Motive School of Movement in South Carolina. South Carolina. You guys want to go to South Carolina? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, it looks so official too. Yeah, Who's that good boy? Oh, dude, that is a good boy right there. That's a good boy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Screen, Video screen of cap this and throw it on. That's throw it right, right, right there. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Dude, that's the best boy I've ever it's seen. It's a good way to market something. Goddamn life. Put a majestic looking dog with some snow in front of your gym. That's adorable. That's amazing. Oh, oh okay. They, wait, they do a page. Right and listen. There we go. There we go. Follow them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Follow. Oh, here we go. This is this looks like a yeah, good video of everything. Go. Yeah, nice setup. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, walls, so, like, though. if you guys look above, like, up here, you'll see, like, it looks like a walkway that wraps around the gym, but it looks like you can do stuff and, like, create new challenges from that walkway onto certain obstacles. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hold on. Let's, let me restart it. 
Oh, uh, I see what here. you're saying, yeah. There was a video of him, like, flipping over it into the foam pit. So, oh, I was like, yeah. oh, that'd be sick. So nice. Yeah, so parkour gyms. Parkour gyms. They're, uh... They're up and coming. They're popping up everywhere yeah. now. Yeah, so we gotta, we have ours in... Far. Yeah, we have the one that's closest to us in uh, Boundbrook, South yeah. Boundbrook, yeah. Like New so, Jersey. Yeah. Uh, VertiQuest Gym. Uh, Joe and Lane work at it. Um, super dope gym. Uh, big thing I noticed about VertiQuest that I don't really see in other gyms is the tightness of all the th- like the walls and everything and the bars everything's super close together so it makes you okay. like really figure out uh how to do new challenges yeah but then there are things that are like if something's big there it's fucking big like it's huge some things that are there but there's no always, it's cool. there's always something there to do though like literally always yeah. a new challenge every yeah. time i go there same Seriously. to be said for hub too oh hub is a fantastic I love gym. Hub. oh my god hub is hub but very Oh no! There's a lot of challenges. So yeah. There's, yeah. there's everything from over. small to big. Dylan Poland, all the hub boys, they're killing the game too. <sighs> the the yeah. the kids coming out of that gym. The next oh gen kids, god. yeah. Dude, the will the next gen is gonna be fucking and Brandon. Nuts. Oh my god, amazing athletes that are gonna be killing EPCs in a couple of years. It's if insane. you guys know what kind of milk they're drinking, <laughs> send it in. I want to believe it's like, it wouldn't be two percent. Wouldn't be one percent. I want to believe it's something in between. I feel like everyone's drinking almond milk now. Yeah, apparently it's not good for the for the earth. Yeah, well, uses almond water. Whatever. Whatever. (laughs) Dip your dip your cookies in water if you want to save the planet. That bad. (laughs) Oh my (laughs) god! Start a movement. You got it, dude. What are you gonna do? Dip cookies in water. Everything's bad. We're gonna die. Yeah. So don't pay your don't pay your student loans. You're gonna we're all gonna die. Uh, Oh, by the way, shout out Arizona. Oh, you know. shout out Arizona, <laughs> dude. This is all brought by Arizona. Arizona, the real ones. Oh, shit. Oh, Joey's right. drinking in Arizona. We need like, a, we need like a, pouring, uh, a pouring bucket so we can shout, give one of our homies out there. In <laughs> Just pour we something should, into honestly, a bucket in between. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Honestly. But uh, yeah, so what I wanted to get to with uh, the gyms in general, like mm-hmm. the parkour gyms especially, mm-hmm. what do you guys think makes up a good parkour gym? Yeah, I feel like it has to, it has to be able to cater to people who want to start, you know, like newbies, and like also has to cater to the hopefully professional athletes that you would want to come into the gym. So it has to have like a lot of you know small in between stuff, but could also have like certain areas where like if you hurt a wall, it makes the jump like three feet bigger or two feet bigger for mm-hmm. like the more advanced people. And just in general, just to teach your students too, you need some things that, you know, I feel like you need movable objects, you need yeah. stable walls that can be used as like singular platforms and stuff like that. So Yeah, I definitely I definitely think a more modular gym is better for like well rounded athletes or experienced athletes. Because you'll get burnt out if a gym just stays the same, if they don't have movable yeah. uh obstacles. Because I've seen mm-hmm. gyms that really don't have like vault boxes or boxes that you could just kinda move around. Yeah. It's odd. And they won't you know, change the gym as well. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, like things get a little stale, but if you add movable obstacles, that creates a whole new challenge. If you change your gym around, mm-hmm. that's even better. I like, um, I like like ascending and descending levels in gyms. Mm-hmm. Like, remember the gym you, you, you kind of had like, you were, you were uh, helping with like the design of, Oh yeah, 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 that was yeah. that was back in the day. Yeah, like so the shit like that, like levels, like I like yeah. I like being able to go down, not like this. Well, essentially the sense, yeah, but be able to traverse and move mm-hmm. down and around places is dope. Yeah, it also caters to like different skill levels as well. Exactly. Like, you can stay you really low, you could go really high. I was exactly. just saying that's different styles too. Yeah. So which is really cool. But now one thing I also say is more often than not, a parkour gym will have Ninja Warrior stuff in it, I and so. I mean Almost I I know. I I definitely feel like it's because uh, parkour is still like on the come up, so yeah. Ninja Warrior is the best selling point exactly. for people. And you get two, you get two markets rather than just one. You don't yeah. just get parkour athletes; you get parkour athletes and Ninja Warrior athletes, and also calisthenic athletes. Yeah. Are we still over there? <laughs> Thanks for answering, Joe. Hey Joe, you want to pull that up? Joe, you hey Joe can we you pull that up? up? We still recording over there, Joe? Is it still recording? Oh, okay. Cool. How would you? Oh, there you go. No, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, it's good to have like variability. I suppose yeah. keeps people coming in. Yeah, people will get bored. Like I've never gotten bored of like any gym. I feel like as of recent, so it's like, yeah, like uh, the Philly gym. What's that called? Yeah. 
PB uh, or something like that? Pinnacle Parkour. Yeah, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Parkour. That's also a very, very nice gym, which doesn't really have too many movable objects, but, like, it works well because all they have, like, nice walls with a lot in between yeah. jumps and stuff like that. They, yeah. um, yeah, they have, like what Jesse says, they have that, you know, low level, Ooh, and it, nice. like, quickly ascends if you go be- into the back of that gym where everything gets really, really high up, and the challenges yeah. get, like, much more difficult when you mm-hmm. go up there, but exactly. it's great working your way down or working your way up mm-hmm. in a line. It's, yeah, it's definitely a cool gym. I think awesome. if they added some movable obstacles, that would be... It'd be, interesting. It'd be tough because the gym it doesn't have much like space to move stuff around, but also that also plays like really well for them, yeah. Because everybody that's there has like a very like cool technique of training where it's like training in small spaces or doing those things, so it works exactly, for them. Yeah. Yeah. All of those athletes too all have like a weird different style of training. It's not all like the same thing, even though like a couple of them are like free runners, mm-hmm. they still have like a different style to them, which is crazy. Yeah. So, but. So PBK is a good gym. Oh my god! How would you guys feel in the near future when parkour becomes like more of a well-known sport? There's a more of um, what's the next level above intermediate? Would you say expert? Yeah. Okay, like an expert level gym for people that who are more like advanced in the sport, like a heights gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, like literally. something like over like three stories. Yeah, that'd be so sick. Like take out fucking so sick, two yeah. to three floors of like a warehouse. Yeah. Jesus, like you have a descent. You can put nets there if you the really gym. want to be safe, but that's all I'm saying. Imagine a three story <laughs> level descent Joe's, uh, in the gym, Joe's, like Cherry Creek in the gym. Joe okay. is silently screaming in the back because that's something he wants. <laughs> yeah, there's but some gyms have incorporated like descent into it. Yeah, even PPK. Wow, I was, yeah. they're the only gym I really know that has like an actual descent in it, though. Yeah. Uh, the, well, yeah, there's. I can't die on the descent. Yeah. The biggest, you, no, yeah, the you, yeah, you I want to have to be yeah. able to die. But it's like the best. <laughs> that's the best, best start. Way. Yeah, it's the best start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. Have, us, yeah have us learn from uh, Nick and Brandon Douglas. Is, uh, oh, yeah, I didn't get the make to that. Oh, like send, uh, it was like a send workshop. Sending like height, more height stuff, and they taught you like the yeah. technique, oh, yeah, which was really cool. Shout out Nick Oldie. Shout, shout, shout out Brandon Douglas. I would say, um, a big thing that parkour gyms probably struggle with the most, though, is the height that they're given. Yeah. Like, based on height, I would say the Apex gyms in Colorado are probably some of the biggest gyms I've seen yeah, as yeah, far as, like, yeah. ground to ceiling. Yes. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, dear. you know, it's, re- it's really tough to... You're going to be selling to, like, such a small market of people if the gym is all about heights and stuff. But then you could also, you know, make yeah. classes about that. Like, how do you train the heights? Well, Make it safe for people. Put netting. Put you know foam pads say, and imagine stuff. Imagine like three stories, but like it's a netting. I like feel like that's yeah. I'm so saying it's still in the, in the future up. of the sport, when the sport is like finally like really taken off, when it's like a household name sport, it's just like performance centers. Yeah, everywhere. just like you know, whole different. It's just things. like a like a height. It's a fucking like an elite gym, like an elite club. Like you have to take, you have to pass a test to get in. You get a little card. Ooh, that'd be crazy. That'd saying. be sick. Oh that, you throw, them in, throw them into a room with their worst fear. We're cutting this part out of the podcast. Oh, you we like, need to keep this We gotta keep this one. You don't like if, you're lis- if you're listening, yeah. don't you dare take this idea away from us. We will find God. you. We'll hunt you down. God. And we'll just ask you for it kindly. If you mm-hmm. win your category in EPCs. Or if you race you against us. To. Like a foot race. Because we have to do that, actually. We do have to do that. Fuck. But we, uh... Yeah, we're approaching about 30 minutes. We don't got so much time left but uh yeah i think that i think it went really well talked about a lot talked about life love the pursuit of happiness time flies william churchill yeah, yeah well i mean we did okay <laughs> depends on <laughs> depends on what you categorize them as it's the backstroke of the east baby backstroke of the east backstroke of the east so uh all links or things that we talked about i'll try to put them in the description uh if you're on youtube they'll be in the description if you are finding this on like Spotify and stuff. I'm sorry, there won't be a description there. Maybe there will. I don't know how that works yet. Uh, yeah, so you can this? yeah you can keep up with all the things that we're talking about, all the athletes that we bring up. Yes, that'd be pretty cool. Shout out Arizona. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out Arizona. Tag Arizona. Shout out Arizona. The, Arizona. Whole the whole state. The whole state. Yeah, the whole state. But yeah, we will. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one, and uh, see you there. Peace. Peace.